M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. I had a couple of questions about the newly announced FT150 ASP dual band 50 watt analog radio. The first question is when will this device be available? Well in the USA, Gigaparts state that it may be available before the end of November. In the UK, we're looking at December, January, but you know, let's, we may get lucky, it may come before that, but that's what I've read just, just searching online. So Yesu are, are taking a journey back to the older models. They've gone with the orange design. They've still got the, the separate head unit here that does fit on the swivel mount. And guess what? You can install the Bluetooth module in this, which is called the BU5. And on my Yesu FT500, it went in the head unit, so I'm guessing it will here. We still have a microphone connector in the head unit as well. So I think that's excellent and a full DTMF type microphone. So I think that's excellent. Also watching the, the podcast by John Crook from Yesu, and I will put that link in the description. And after watching the podcast, split mode was mentioned. So unless I'm wrong, but it, what I heard was when you transmit, you can receive at the same time. Oh, and also it's a proper, proper, real dual receive you know, transceiver. So I would say for satellite operation, this, this transceiver is gonna be excellent. It does have a, a dual speaker system. So one in the head unit, one in the rear unit. They've redesigned the fan, which all, almost sucks out the, the heat and it's a, a, apparently a better system. ASP, as you can see on the display there, audio signal processing and the SDX function as well increases receiver sensitivity. The head unit does fit on the swivel unit, the type that you would use on your FTM 500. And they're using that matrix display. I wonder if they can do anything with that display. That, that would interest me. Uh, I really like the, th the thought of this being, say, a Yesu 818, the new Yesu 818, because as John Crook says in his video, we don't always want a digital radio, and the Yesu 818 was not a digital radio, but an all-mode, all-band, shack-in-the-box radio, non-digital, um, with HF capability, six meters, that would be very welcome. Each of the speakers are three watt in power. They have included the PMG system, which I like. It's You have like five graphs that bounce up and down on the screen with memory channels. I, I think you can use it in vehicle. But anyway, let's just say memory because it is called memory group. <laughs> um, so that's interesting to see how that works. And then they've got memory channels can be automatically grouped and record for each band in the MAG, M-A-G they call it, memory auto grouping and a high resolution band scope. So there's a new one. I didn't realize it was going to have a band scope. So what's that gonna look like on this orange screen? So I'll, I'll read some of the highlights. Large capaci capacity 1103 memory channels. Memory data VFO transfer. Split memory. Microphone connections to either the control head or the main body. Sub band mute function. Keypad entry of operation frequencies from the supplied DTMF microphone. It's going to have an SD card. Automatic repeater shift function, timeout timer, automatic power off. So, so, you know, I'm really pleased that they've gone down this road and it is actually a surprise. I, I was, you know, I, I did try hard <laughs> to predict the, what's now gonna be the FTX1 that you can see here. And to me, this is a, a direct competitor to the ICOM 705 and I think that's excellent because the 705 was ahead of its time and hopefully this one's also gonna have the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and some do say why Wi-Fi because it allows your radio to interact with certain program software that you would normally not be able to do that and then of course Bluetooth but the thing that this that the FTX one has got over the 705 is the fact that it has a dual display screen 
with the 705 you can only see one at a time and this is dual receive as well so you will be able to listen to hf and let's say your two meter repeater at the same time simultaneous dual receive i really like that and the module that they've made that fits on the back of this with the battery uh, uh, the antenna tuner module um, that's a nice neat package it's going to be quite a brick to hold but that's welcome i think it would have been really nice if uh, if Icom did exactly the same thing where you could plug an antenna tuner into the sort of battery compartment and then that would have a couple of um, connectors there uh, for you know so you could still use the radio with with the uh, with the antenna tuner attached and you can see that Yesu have really decided to dive in on this this model here 85 watts power as 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 you can see with the title name which is the FT 3185 that's rugged sort of heat sink design now i'm not seeing bluetooth in this model it's a two meter radio but yeah you can see it really packs a punch it's a nice it's a nice style retro but with a modern twist if you look at the front there it still has pmg sdx i'm just looking again at the the information they it's also still got the asp I'm just picking out obvious things um selectable power from 85 watts to fire I and mean, 85 watts wow super sdx asp pmg so I, I i like it yeah i'm curious of the price on that if they can get that one for i don't know around 250 pounds i think um it's going to be a popular uh popular little chunky set and it, it again it just what i'm getting from this they're sending out a message here we are sticking with our retro design that that if you ask me made yesu's products popular you know in the 90s and 2020 and i've still got my 7900 here let me grab it which is i don't know the old version that's this one here <coughs> which i love and when you fire this up it's it's beautiful the screen is beautiful that orange display is absolutely beautiful um and i'd never sell it and i got it for a you know i think it was 130 pound second hand and <clears throat> i am really pleased that they are sticking with this and i'll keep saying do it with the yesu 818 it will because Although I'm really pleased that they brought out an alternative to the 705, I am, because they should have brought one out a lot sooner. And there's a big market for that. There's a lot of ham operators that would love to have a digital waterfall spectrum. You know, I call them super radios. They are super radios. But sometimes, you know, we, we just want, you know, and I'm not even going to call it basic because the Yesu 817 is packed with features. And really is a very advanced radio and is one of my first devices that I bought when I passed my my foundation license which is like the novice license and I could sit there and I could flick up and down with you know VHF UHF six meters HF antennas front and back that was a biggie you know, that I that really made me like the 817 was having that front and back antenna so come up with something like this please keep the front and back antenna that was such a crucial Part of the enjoyment um, so I'm quite excited about the prospect of one day having a you know a modern and the continuation really of um, a product that should never have been discontinued ever which is the Yesu 817818 and I've still got them both um, so and I wouldn't sell them but um, I definitely believe in if you can afford to keep your radios because if you start count counting the pounds with radios you lose, you take away the enjoyment if you think oh my god that's worth 200 pound oh i could have more 200 pound in my bank account you, it really impacts on how much you enjoy that radio you've got to i know it's hard to do obviously times are hard and you go by what you always go by what you can afford but if you can afford it <coughs> keep your radios tinker with them dig them out go into the settings really start to learn deep in the deeper settings of that radio bring it back to life by by improving your knowledge and you will love using that when i use that the yesu that i just got out i love using it i might only use it for an hour but when i do i love it yeah and it's like having a meal so you go for a nice meal you don't have that 
lovely meal in a restaurant every day but you might have it every six months and when you do you love it right okay last of all the yesu ft3165 and as the title says it's a 65 watt radio again this one says two meters so i I, I'm surprised they're not going to also offer a 70 centimeter version of this. I think they will. Again, it's a bit like a, a giant heat sink. I don't see a fan here. It's still got the, you know, the main features, which says here 65 to 5 watt selectable power, uh, efficient cooling, 5 watt front speaker, MLS 100 compatibility for noisy environments, Super DX mode, the ASP enhanced weak signal reception, uh, DTMF mic and various scanning features, priority channel VFO and weather alert. So, okay, I know that there's a, this isn't my style of radio that I like, but I know there's a market out there that do like these, these style of almost commercial grade radio. It's like a taxi radio, but you see the buttons on the front, squelch, SDX, TX, power, megahertz, VFO, memory, and I mean, the, those microphones, I really like those microphones. I've always liked those microphones. So there you go. So um, again, the availability is stated as before the end of November, USA, and then the UK. You know, I look around, um, sometimes they overestimate the time period in the UK. I'll have a quick look at Wimo. Have you heard of Wimo? Yeah, even they say available soon. So not sure about Europe. So we'll end it there. Please hit the like, subscribe. If you if you really enjoy my content, think about joining my YouTube channel. It's only a pound a month and you've got me, you'll be part of my community, you can ask me questions and I'm gonna you know, I always help everyone anyway. But if you're part of my community, that would be great. You've got a link there to buy me a coffee and me and my wife will go to Starbucks and have a nice coffee and we actually will and we do because we love coffee and uh, thanks loads and please hit the subscribe i've got this passion if i can get the subscribers to a hundred thousand by 2026 so we've set a bit of a target there um i would just be so chuffed and you know why you know why a hundred thousand su subscribers some of the biggest youtubers have a hundred thousand subscribers and i feel like i'm just here in my shack basically started making videos to help myself program my Bofeng Quashang type radios which I have several here at the moment just converted one to HF and it was for me to help myself to program a memory channel at a repeater and then that I would store it on YouTube because it was a free place to store something and the fact that that has grown into over 15 million views and I'm coming up for 40,000 subscribers, which in itself, I am so chuffed that every one of you have even thought about watching my video because my early videos are very bad, yeah? Um, and I've tried to evolve, not to be this professional Steven Spielberg YouTuber, but to, to, to create a video where you're trying to do something on your radio and you can quickly do it without the long intros, without, I don't know, deflecting from the fact, just like I am now, of, and that's why I'm doing it at the end, if you just wanna, let's say you've forgotten how to get your radio into memory mode. You wanna know that quickly. So you go in, Yesu FT70, this is memory mode, you know, this is VFO mode, this is how you change the power, bang, 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 you get the information, and then I can waffle, yeah? Um, and that's what my channel's about, um, it's about Get, let's get to the point and stop the waffle. Um, so thanks very much. And I uh, always appreciate it when you watch my channel. Even if you don't like my channel, thank you. Bye for now, 7-3.